us that everybody be seated and all the guests take their seats. Can you please also uh, keep the reserve tables open? There was a request from the family that the reserve tables need to be kept open and not before the other tables, inshallah. Jamaatul um, Muslimin, brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, it is my pleasure and privilege. Can we just have attention, please, everybody? Can we perhaps stop our conversation so that we can get on with the program? Sorry to, to say that, brother. Um, it is my pleasure and privilege, as I said, to be and serve as the MC and somebody very special in our family's wedding. And that is, of course, Faria. I think most of us sitting here know Faria as, first of all, as an editor, uh, a pioneering woman um, who, at one stage in her life, recognized that there is a great void in our community with regard to literature or magazines for Muslim women. And she started a treasure magazine. And I think a lot of us sitting here has been in contact with her through that empowering voice for Muslim women. So it, indeed, although I am the uncle, it is also a pleasure for me to, um, to be associated with her. We have a very short, short program. Unfortunately, we have, to, we have to cut our program even shorter um, because there will be another function at this venue. Um, this morning, as you know, it is the season of the Pujaj. And uh, the Imam, um, he had to double up for, uh, you know, uh, making dua at the Qajaj and be at the, at the mosque. And we were running a bit late. So if I perhaps are uh, inconveniencing anybody, um, please, especially my cousin sitting here, um, I do ask not. Uh, it is customary for us if we start any program. Um, to do two things, to make dua and to recite from the Quran. So I'm going to ask uh, Professor Hussein Mohammed uh, to come to the front and to open the suspicious occasion, occasion with a dua, inshallah. But we need to get the two most important people into this room, and that is, of course, the Hiti Quran in the group. So can I ask, um, as, a, as a sign of acknowledgement, as a sign of respect, that all of us as guests, we stand up um, and then we welcome them in. Uh, there will be some music that she requested, but can you all rise for the occasion? Yeah.
look at this face. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Adams, Fadia and Abdurrahim Adams. Thank you, Shukran. Um, can we ask that everybody be seated? Fadia's uh, uncle here. It is uh, Professor Hussain Muhammad. Um, when I started, I said because Fadia is a very important person. In fact, he is the most important person today. But equally so is her uncle. He is uh, Professor of Chinese Medicine at Beijing University. But he's not going to do any karate or medicine here. He's going to make the dawn. <laughs> ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم وتوب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا زدنا علما ولا تكلنا فعما ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد أي تديتنا وهبنا ملا دمك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا أفرح لنا صبرا وتفيد دامنا وانصرنا لكم الكافرين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنا وقنا أذابنا وأدخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا زيد يا أكبر يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل دعاءنا بحق سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في سر الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين وفينا سروات مستقيمة سروات الذين نمتعين غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الدولين آمين سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلامنا على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين. We say shukran to our saints. We affectionately know him. We're going to ask that another of Fadia's cousins, and that is Habiz Abdul Karim. To come to the front and uh, to recite some verses from the Holy Quran. <laughs>
And I think listening to this melodious voice, all of us sitting, sitting here, you know, our, our hearts are indeed, you know, tuned in to the words of, of as a result of the words of Allah. We are going to ask, uh, we have got three speakers, uh, very, very short they will be. Uh, I will introduce the, the most important speaker uh, lastly. But first we're going to ask uh, Abdul cousin, uh, the Wajidi, cousin Wajidi, to come and just to pay a tribute to, to Abdul Rahim Wajidi. And I'm off to a good start. <laughs> I've been asked by Abdul Rahim to render a few words on his behalf. So bear with me, I'm only the messenger. <laughs> Yeah, because whilst he sits there excited and happy next to his wife, I'm having hard palpitations, but I must deliver his message. Firstly, to his newly acquired family, thank you for your daughter's hand and for allowing, into your, uh, for allowing me into your family circle. I pray it will be a long and a happy one. Thank you for all the effort that has been put into completing the trial quarters. It is greatly appreciated. And what an adventure it was. <laughs> Last night when finally the, the bridal bed was made, I couldn't help but notice that there was one gold pillow put on the bed. <laughs> and it made me think, why not? Because as we are busy with the Olympics, <laughs> the two of them are no longer single. So I gather that will be mixed doubles. They will be going for gold. To, to his family, including his cousins, uncles, uncles, nephews, and everybody else, for all that they have done for me, not only in the build up to today, but throughout all the years. As you know, Abdul Rahim has been without his father since the tender age of 12. But he, he, has, a, he, he has to pay a lot of respect to his grandfather and uncles who had laid a huge foundation in his development in him getting to be a fan of a fine young man that he is today. He's the image of his father with similar characteristics and mannerisms, with of course one exception, Abdul Rahim as a six pack. <laughs> and of course that is all for you, Badia. As he puts it, like marriage is like a whole nut chocolate. Smooth and creamy, with a bit of bumps, but in the end, most satisfying. <laughs> to his sisters, Sumeya and Raytan, boy, oh boy, the reason he wanted to be married at the age of 13. <laughs> but Fadia wasn't available yet until today. So he had to endure and father Raytan, Tolerate the two of them until now, but he needs him to know that he would not change it for the world. His mother Faisal, with her husband Duna, she has been the rock in his life, who has to be credited for much into what he has become. Whilst it is a debt he feels he will never be able to repay, he will never stop trying to. Last but certainly not least, my wife Fadia, a woman of arrogance who has swept me from my feet and captured all of my heart. I look forward to the journey together. May you remain to be the velvet in my cup, the melody in my ear, the fragrance in my smell, the sweetness on my tongue that will always be the coolness of my eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending, thank you for listening, thank you for contributing. Enjoy the rest of the day with us. Thank you. That is the poetic uh, one city at his very best. Uh, he was referring to the Olympics. Uh, as you know, what he did, the Olympics are very disciplined. Uh, tonight, I hope it's not the wrestling that is going to, to be the item on the screen. Anyway, uh, we are going to have um, Fadia's friend. Um, if I could just uh, 
pronounce the name properly. It is Yumna Hawani. Um, she's going to also bring a tribute to the Fadia. So, Bismillah.
Uh, Mr. Creel, the two of you, Barashad Creel, thank you very much for showing patience and the support. And thank you for everyone who contributed to making this um, reception a, a, a very pleasant one. And just being here and your presence that is gracing and uh, you know, Fadia and uh, Ibrahim, uh, with Abdurrahim Mahf. We say shukran to you for accepting this invitation and uh, enjoy your meal. Shukran.